everyone, I'm Alicia with the Dr. Deep Dessin. And this is my 5 a.m. morning routine where I prep breakfast, lunch, and sometimes dinner for my 12 kids. But first, coffee. Iced coffee, caramel macchiato creamer. All right, first I'm gonna get this bacon cooking in the oven. I'm gonna make cheesy scrambled eggs, bacon and fruit smoothies for breakfast. For lunch, I'm gonna make their sandwiches. And for dinner, we're doing ribs. Um, thank you to everybody who gave us different recipe suggestions. We're gonna try one of them. I think it was Megan's. I'll have to look for sure, but thank you. We're trying to perfect our ribs. We've tried so many different ways and we just can't get them like that perfect fall off the bone. You know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna cook these in the oven. I put it at 420 degrees today. I'm gonna try that. Usually I do 415, but I feel like it takes too long. Okay, these are like, this was frozen. So now it's like sticking together. We are getting so close to the end of the school year. So close. I can do it. I have to just live in chaos for two more weeks. And then it's a different chaos. It's a more leisurely chaos. But I do still wake up and I do this every day. People keep saying, do you still do your morning routine in the summer? And I do. Every day of the year, my kids still need to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I just learned a long time ago, it's easier to just do it all early in the morning before they wake up. Make lunch, already made, so when lunchtime comes, they can just grab it. Then I'm only making the kitchen dirty like once, you know? Well, other than snack time, but. Twins want grilled cheese for their sandwich. So I'm gonna get that cooking now. Starting the burner out. Make grilled cheese before you can put butter on the outsides of the bread some people use mayonnaise I've never tried that actually and you put a piece of cheese in the middle and you just put it in a frying pan And 
Okay, so minus the twins plus, I'm trying to like count sandwiches in my head. Um, I'm making two sandwiches for Nevaeh's lunch because she keeps giving her lunch away <laughs> and coming home hungry. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna make you two lunches. If you're wondering why she gets her lunch away, um, she has quickly become friends with the urban suburban kids in the school who are the kids who get bussed in from the inner city. And she's like, they're hungry and they don't have food, so I give them mine. I'm like, that's fine. We got food at home, so when you get home, you eat. So I'll ship back two lunches today for her. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. So I need one more. Harley can have this little bread. All right. Oh, I didn't make James's tuna fish. Whoops. James. I'm going to try to get him to do an unboxing live with me today. He's been grumpy. I think it'll cheer him up. My kids, like some of my kids, they just get really, like the end of the school year, I don't know. They don't do well with it. Transition, you know? Transitions are hard. Change is hard. Even good change. So I always try and take like a, a little quick like weekend trip. That first like weekend in summer or around there. It kind of helps that transition from school life to home for the summer life in an odd way. Zoe, Dash, Jordan, Jason, Bodie, and Harley. Today is going to be a great day. I'm going to tell myself that every morning. It's going to be a great day. And then it is. Josh and I are making a really funny shorts today. So watch for that. Okay, they uh, so we hardly.
grade bash at school. I don't think they can like call it a dance. I don't know. So an eighth grade bash on Friday. She's excited. Thingies. They look like a waffle maker, but I feel like it's just easier to cook them on the stove. And PPJs. Did I have the jelly? Yes. This raspberry jam is so good. I put it on the Victoria, I don't know if it's Victoria sandwich or Victoria sponge. There's a debate on TikTok. Google told me it was Victoria sandwich. I don't know. Apparently it's Victoria's sponge. The cake with the jam in the middle. I was like, don't get mad at me. I just Google things. Um, let's see. I forgot to grab something random for Jason's lunchbox. You know, so every day I put something random in Jason's lunchbox so that when I make it fast motion for my shorts, like people have to catch what the random thing is in his lunch. And now <laughs> he said his friends will be like, because I always forget to take it out. And his friends will be like, what's the random thing in your lunchbox today? Whoops. Finally got more reusable bags. These things disappear. here in New York are bad right now. Of course, we spend all afternoon outside. I'm pretty sure I'm probably allergic to horses and I spend two nights a week around horses and barn cats. Got to remember to take allergy medicine. I like hate taking it because it messes with my sleep. You know, it keeps me awake at night. walking the dogs and like all of the kids are still sleeping which is rare usually there's at least one or two kids up by now what am I doing why did I run out oh maybe 
maybe because I checked. I don't know. I gotta scour up the rest of the reusable bags that are already missing. That is my adorable dish towel. We're from Australia. It's my favorite. They do their meds and their vitamins and their supplements. Twins are a lot of GI meds. syndrome for them. I wonder if that's common for preemies. Like digestive, digestive issues, you know? to the laundromat yesterday. Four days worth of laundry for 14 people. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but you add in like linens, and, you know, the sheets and the towels and it, it's a lot, it's a lot. I did order more linens because I'm like I can't keep like washing the linens on the same day and then having to put them right back on the bed because they only have one set of linens. So I've been trying to order like a second pair of linens for every bed. <clears throat> I got more, I got my napkins in from Lovekins. Or my Lovekins. I'm so happy to have you in my life. I love these napkins. I'm proud of you. You are so awesome. You color my world with an elephant. Wipe up your seat at the table. 
Yep, here comes the doggies. The quiet is about to end. These are little carrots that I have to use up. Make sure Patrick gets the cotton candy flavored Gobert. Smoking. Thank you. Josh to the rescue. Sorry about that. I'll edit that out. That's probably alarming. recipes you guys comment you all commented on my shopping vlog Tonight. I'm sorry, I thought it was Megan. Molly. Alright, now 
now you gotta make the eggs. chips and forgot to put it in the bay of lunch. I'm packing her two lunches today since she keeps giving away her lunches. I will add it in. Yes, my three-year-old can crack eggs better than I can. <laughs> I posted a video for proof. See? How does she crack eggs better than me? These are her little hands. I just got like a zillion shells in there. So what do I, do you want me to prep those and then you can finish them when you get home? Wait, that's happening today? Yeah, we're gonna rips today. It's uh, happening. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, yeah, but you gotta make sure the lining comes off. You gotta cut the fat off. Okay. We'll see what time we get done. I have air cut today. But I gotta show you how to get the lining. Erica's our babysitter for Harley. A couple hours a week. Just don't tell Harley because she's not a baby and she does not need a babysitter. According okay. to her, Erica just brings her son Isaac over to play. Let's play date. City with us yet? I don't know. Well, if we don't go that Father's Day weekend, then maybe my mom and dad can come. Maybe it's probably like that. Yeah. I know your dad would. Yeah, he definitely would. Yeah, we should do that. Okay. So we won't go next week. We'll wait. When's their next? Well, when's their next home? Like after that. Probably not till. Oh, I wonder if it's like around July 4th. Well, uh, Josh and mine's anniversary is 4th of July. We will be married for 19 years, 19 years on the 4th of July. And all at our test. What? June 4th would have marked. June 2nd. Oh, June 2nd. Would have marked. June 2nd, we have now. 22 a years. We've been together for 22 years, as of June 2nd. And as of June 2nd, 12 years ago, we met Alex. June 5th, 12 years ago, he moved in. We flew home from South Dakota with him, 12 years ago. Flew to South Dakota with no kids and flew home with a four-year-old. That was a crazy feeling. We're like, what? They just gave us a kid? <laughs> what do we do? Well, so we will be happy. It's very crispy bacon today. Cheesy eggs. 
Yeah, we do. I just kind of know. We have all that food in that fridge that was frozen. Because yeah. everything was frozen for it's a month. Not it's not frozen anymore. That's where I got the bacon. We had a fridge out there. We have four fridges in the garage that broke and everything was frozen. So now I'm like using up everything that has been frozen for a month. Like that bacon was expired, but it had been frozen. So it's fine. All right. Yeah, they got a July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. They have games against Texas. They have what? July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. They have uh -huh. home games versus Texas. Yeah, but I want an afternoon game. Well, Saturday the 2nd starts at 4.10. Okay. And then Sunday starts at 1.40. Yeah, I want, like, the earlier, the better. With this cup. We're talking about going to a Mets game. Sorry. Oh, wait, in the 25th and 29th, they're home versus Houston. And that would work out well, because that's right at that transition time where the kids go crazy because school ends and summer starts. Yeah, but I think I'm taking classes. Any flavor yogurt is fine. Jordan took my smushy thing and was running around the backyard with it like a weapon. Boys. It came with a tool to like smush the stuff down.
you know like when you have random memories like okay i just had a random memory of when i learned to make scrambled eggs i was at a friend's house i had spent the night and she's like do you want to make breakfast and i was like yeah and she's like let's make scrambled eggs and i had never made them before and she showed me how i made them by myself to my random memories. Good cheesy eggs. What time is Deshaun's thing today? Is it at 3 or 3.30? Not sure. Probably something about 3. Yeah. I'm so nervous. He'll do it easily. I know. He was nervous about the mile. A mile, he'll be fine. How fast does he have to run it in? I think like 6.15. Oh, wow. Deshaun has his test today to try out for JV football. To be able to try out for JV football, he has to pass an athletic test because he's it's still in middle school and JV football is high school level. Oh, I gotta sign him up for those summer camps. And then Alex got invited to like two D line camps. Yeah, okay. So. Are we doing those? Okay. Yeah.
doesn't have a pour part. You know what I mean? No. No. Does it pour messy? I have no idea. Because I did the... Oh. I would... Remember the time? Oh, that made me so nervous. Oh, careful. <laughs> Remember the time Jordan dumped out an entire oh, blender man. full of smoothies all over the counter? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and he made no attempt to and clean it up. No, he did. He just he, left it there. No, he tried to clean it up with like a quarter of a paper towel, like smearing it around. Oh, children are a gift from God. Oh. Just a camera on our kitchen. <laughs> camera on our kitchen for a day. All right, I'm just going to portion everyone the same and they can get seconds if they want it. Thank you for joining me for my morning routine. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I am so proud of you. I'll see you next time.